Do people still call a Q&A Q&A? Today we're answering some questions. Did you go to college? And if so, what were the most important subjects you had? Well, yes, I did go to college. However, I never finished it. As a software engineer, the most important subject that I had was data structures. Not only because of my professor who was really amazing. Data structures are something that you will use no matter what technology you're dealing with. It is very likely that whether you are a front-end or a back-end developer, you will need to deal with data structures and how to organize data and how to manipulate data. And uh, I think that was one of the most important subjects that I had. Also, as you know, I focus a lot lot on learning the basics so I think algorithms like introduction to algorithms was a very important piece during my learning. I'm not going to get into the subject with whether a college is necessary for you to learn that or not because this is not the purpose of this video but I cannot be hypocrite and say that college hasn't helped me. I never got to finish it but yeah, I think that it did help me a lot to knowing what I know today. Not that it actually gave me the knowledge, but it helped me see a path to get this knowledge. What kind of other jobs except software engineer would you like to do? Uh, I really like being a software engineer, but I think I would very much appreciate being taken to a product level in terms of managing the product. I think, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay. As I was saying, I think I would very much appreciate being part of, of the product as a manager and, you know, talking to the stakeholders and presenting the product. I think that would be very cool. But I also enjoy subjects like machine learning and data science. I think the whole AI field is very interesting to me. So I would probably go and learn something about that, like data visualization, machine learning, image comparison, and etc. And the fun thing is that you can learn these subjects by using today's sponsor, Brilliant. In Brilliant's platform, you can learn these subjects and many other more content like this. They have a very intuitive interface where you can look for computer science subjects and advance in your career. You don't have to worry about long lessons. They are bite-sized. You can make it a daily learning habit. That means you can practice really important and advanced concepts in just 15 minutes. I mean, that's less time than you spend scrolling through Instagram, I'm sure. For example, when filtering the search for the data science courses, as I said, data science is a very rising field and there is a huge demand for professionals like that. You can see they offer a wide variety of courses and you can start with their data analysis fundamentals, for example, and learn all there is to get started in your data science career. Like I said, it is very important that you master the fundamentals when learning a new technology or a new concept and brilliant is just that even if you are in a hurry you can take your phone your tablet your laptop and quickly learn about these subjects to always keep this content fresh on your mind and as a special gift from brilliant to you my subscribers you will get 20 percent off their annual subscription plan plus 30 days of free trial for you to try everything brilliant has to offer so click on the sign up link search for a quick course and come back here and tell me in the comments what you think of it thank you brilliant for sponsoring this video based on your experience how to get overseas offers well based on my experience getting an overseas offer is no different than getting a local offer i would say i think the most different parts is the time zone and the language perhaps you will have to learn a new language when you apply for positions in another country and that may be a hassle but the whole recruiting process of course it can dif differentiate from company to company and from country to country but i think focusing on the basic will get you 
you a good interview anywhere. For you to understand a little bit more about it, I recommend you to watch this video here where I talk about the whole step-by-step -step in a software engineer interview and what you need to do from the CV until the job offer. If there is one thing that I think you should focus more on is on your social skills because when there are two candidates with the same experience, it is very likely that you are going going to be set apart based on your soft skills. It is very likely that if you have the same background and you have the same experience, your ability to communicate and to pass information will differentiate from you, from both of you. Of course, that cannot be analyzed in a single job interview, but it is very likely that the recruiter will notice it, whether you are able to communicate your, ide your idea as well. And apart from that, I think it's pretty much the same. Work on your projects, work on your portfolio, build and build and program and code and focus a lot on the company you're applying and in the position that you're applying to. What I would do personally, if I really wanted to get into a company, I would really study it in depth and perhaps even build a small application to showcase to the recruiter. For example, oh, I noticed that you guys have a problem with X, Y, and Z. So I built this small app, nothing too fancy, nothing too with APIs and none of that, but I will build something that will show the recruiter that I was actively searching for that job, for that position. So that's what I would do. I would try to set apart from other candidates by building a small portfolio or asking a lot of questions. That's also very important. The worst thing you can say in a job interview is I have no questions. And I think that's it. Study the language for the country you're applying. Uh, see the time zone because sometimes for example I live in Europe if I were to work for the US that would be a whole different time zone and that may affect the work and of course other legal obligations now I don't know in your question if you meant working in your country for another country or actually going and getting an overseas offer if that's the case you can search for local companies like local companies in your area that have that have also the same company in another country that may also help you Well, no, I do not. Not right now. I think that what you mean is like some kind of mentoring, right? I'm thinking about doing it and I wanted to have a feedback from you guys, whether that would be um, valuable to you or not. So please let me know in the comments below whether that would be cool for you. I'm actually thinking about maybe starting live streaming, coding and etc. And, you know, coding in front of you guys and doing things that I like, building applications and stuff. So I wanted to know from you guys, what do you think? Do you think this is a good idea? Would you see it? This is something that is surely going to take up a lot of my time. So I would very much appreciate having a feedback from you guys. Well, and this was my first Q&A. <laughs> actually my second if you guys liked it leave in the comments below and if you have any more questions also leave it in the comments below because i want to do more of these i had a really good time doing this one and i hope you guys liked it see you in the next one